Lawrence Heaviside units constitute a system of units within CGS, named for Hendrik Anton Lawrence and Oliver Heaviside. They share with CGS Gaussian units the property that the electric constant epsilon zero and magnetic constant micro zero do not appear, having been incorporated implicitly into the unit system and electromagnetic equations. Lorentz Heaviside units may be regarded as normalizing epsilon zero equals one and micro zero equals one, while at the same time revising Maxwell's equations to use the speed of light C instead. Lorentz Heaviside units, like SI units but unlike Gaussian units, are rationalized, meaning that there are no factors of 4 pi appearing explicitly in Maxwell's equations. The fact that these units are rationalized partly explains their appeal in quantum field theory. The Lagrangian underlying the theory does not have any factors of 4 pi in these units. Consequently Lorentz Heaviside units differ by factors of square root 4 pi in the definitions of the electric and magnetic fields and of electric charge. They are particularly convenient when performing calculations in spatial dimensions greater than 3 such as in string theory. They are often used in relativistic calculations, length mass time framework. As in the Gaussian units, the heaviside Lorentz units use the length mass time dimensions. This means that all of the electric and magnetic units are derived units, dependent on the sizes of length and force. Coulomb's equation, used to derive the unit of charge, is F equals QQ, R2 in the Gaussian system, and F equals QQ, 4 pi R2 in the HLU. The unit of charge then connects to 1 dyn cm2 equals 1 esu2 equals 4 pi hlu. The hlu charge is then square root 4 pi larger than the Gaussian and the rest follow. When the dimensional analysis for the Gaussian units are used, including epsilon and mu are used to convert units, the result gives the conversion to and from the heavy side Lorentz units. For example, charge is square root epsilon L3 mt minus 2. When one puts epsilon equals 8.854 picofarads per meter, L equals 0.01 meters, M equals 0.001 kilograms, and T equals 1 second, this evaluates as 698994096689999. Times 10 minus 11 C. This is the size of the HLU unit of charge. Because the heavy side Lorentz units continue to use separate electric and magnetic units, an additional constant is needed when electric and magnetic quantities appear in the same formula. As in the Gaussian system, this constant appears as the electromagnetic velocity C. Rationalization. In system independent form, the Maxwell equations are along with d equals epsilon 0 e and b equals mu 0 h. The constants beta and kappa vary from system to system. One can show that epsilon 0 mu 0 c2 equals kappa 2. The Gaussian system puts beta equals 1 quarter pi, kappa equals c. The HLU system puts beta equals 1, kappa equals c. The SI system puts beta equals 1, kappa equals 1. What rationalization does is to replace the radiance constant with the Gaussian divergence constant. One can easily show that gamma equals 4 pi beta, by considering the case of a sphere around a point, and intensity as density of flux. The older models set gamma equals 1, while the rationalized systems have beta equals 1. Rationalized equations in physics generally have a factor related to the effective spatial symmetry. 1 for planar symmetry, 2 pi for cylindrical symmetry and 4 pi for spherical symmetry. The constant kappa connects the electric and magnetic units through Q equals I kappa T. When electric and magnetic systems are defined as in the Gaussian or heaviside Lorentz systems, kappa equals C derives from the electromagnetic wave equations. Most systems have kappa equals 1, where the electric and magnetic systems are connected by Q equals it. 
Therefore, most books use Q equals it instead of Q equals I kappa T. Maxwell's equations with sources. With Lorentz heaviside units, Maxwell's equations in free space with sources take the following form, where C is the speed of light in vacuum. Here E equals D is the electric field, H equals B is the magnetic field, Rho is charge density, and J is current density. The Lorentz force equation is, here Q is the charge of a test particle with vector velocity VQ and FQ is the combined electric and magnetic force acting on that test particle. In both the Gaussian and heaviside Lorentz systems, the electrical and magnetic units are derived from the mechanical systems. Charge is defined through Coulomb's equation, with epsilon equals 1. In the Gaussian system, Coulomb's equation is F equals QQ, R2. In the heavy side Lorentz system, F equals QQ, 4 pi R2. From this, one sees that QQ equals QQ, 4 pi, that the Gaussian units are larger by a factor of square root 4 pi. Other quantities follow as follows. List of equations and comparison with other systems of units. This section has a list of the basic formulae of electromagnetism, given in Lorentz Heaviside, Gaussian and SI units. Most symbol names are not given. For complete explanations and definitions, please click to the appropriate dedicated article for each equation. Maxwell's equations Here are Maxwell's equations, both in macroscopic and microscopic forms. Only the differential form of the equations is given, not the integral form. To get the integral forms apply the divergence theorem or Kelvin-Stokes theorem. Other basic laws dielectric and magnetic materials below are the expressions for the various fields in a dielectric medium. It is assumed here for simplicity that the medium is homogeneous, linear, isotropic, and non-dispersive, so that the permittivity is a simple constant, where E and D are the electric field and displacement field, respectively. P is the polarization density, is the permittivity, is the permittivity of vacuum, is the electric susceptibility. The quantities in both Lorentz heaviside and Gaussian units and in SI are dimensionless, and they have the same numeric value. By contrast, the electric susceptibility is unitless in all the systems, but has different numeric values for the same material. Next, here are the expressions for the various fields in a magnetic medium. Again, it is assumed that the medium is homogeneous, linear, isotropic, and non-dispersive, so that the permeability is a simple constant, where B and H are the magnetic fields. M is magnetization, is magnetic permeability, is the permeability of vacuum, is the magnetic susceptibility. The quantities in both Lorentz heaviside and Gaussian units and in SI are dimensionless, and they have the same numeric value. By contrast, the magnetic susceptibility is unitless in all the systems, but has different numeric values for the same material. Vector and scalar potentials The electric and magnetic fields can be written in terms of a vector potential A and a scalar potential phi. General rules to translate a formula. To convert any formula from Lorentz heaviside units to Gaussian or to SI units, replace the quantity in the Lorentz heaviside column by the quantity in the Gaussian column or in the SI column. This will reproduce any of the specific formulas given in the list above, such as Maxwell's equations. It may also be necessary to use the relation to simplify, replacing CGS with natural units. When one takes standard SI textbook equations and sets epsilon equals mu equals c equals 1 to get natural units, the resulting equations follow the heaviside Lorentz formulation and sizes. The conversion requires no changes to the factor 4 pi, unlike for the Gaussian equations. Coulomb's inverse square law equation in SI is F equals Q1 Q2 quarters pi epsilon R2. Set epsilon equals 1 to get the HLU form. F equals Q1 Q2 quarters pi R2. The Gaussian form does not have the 4 pi in the denominator. 
by setting C equals 1 with HLU. Maxwell's equations and the Lorentz equation become the same as the SI example with epsilon equals mu equals C equals 1. Because these equations can be easily related to SI work, HLU-style systems are becoming more fashionable.